As the Finance Bill 2024 debate continues in the country in a bid to finance the 2024-2025 budget, Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njuguna Ndungu is now vouching for development to be funded through taxes and not loans as it has been. I'm a great supporter of domestic resource mobilization. A whole DRM, we call it domestic resource mobilization because we cannot finance growth. We cannot finance development, de development projects without resources, whether we raise them through taxes or through other instruments that can be used. This even as the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics has launched the Economic Survey Report, which has demonstrated the economy as having recovered from the shocks of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have grown by 5.6%. Now this, if you check the last five years, then before COVID we were 5.1. When COVID hit us, we, were, we went to negative 0.3. Then after that we had a big jump because we were coming from the negative to 7.6. So the 7.6 was majorly informed by the, the low base that we are coming from. It is quite important that we can defend and protect that economic recovery. By the way, 5.6% is above average even in the African region. That real growth is above average. So we have to defend, and how we defend it is, and protect that economic recovery is very, very important. According to KNBS, the agricultural sector had boosted exports, hence reducing the balance of payments while threatening the shilling. However, the mining sector is dragging the economy. The main driver to this growth that we are experiencing is agriculture, forestry and fishing, which, is, uh, uh, which has grown at 19.8%. And so when we look at the trade balance, uh, that is uh, the, the balance of payment, it, is, uh, it moved from 1.62 to 1.60. So that means we are, we are narrowing the gap of the balance of payment. We need to go into a totally different trajectory. One, faster growth. Two, strong growth. Three, functioning markets. With Kenya leading in matters, technology, cyber security is however the biggest threat at an alarming rate, threatening the economic growth. The total number of uh, cyber crimes reported in 2023 uh, was 1.7 billion, uh, a rise from seven, uh, seven, seven, 700 million. That is a big, big difference. And uh, of course, this is an area where a lot has to be done to curb this because uh, most of the things that we are doing currently are, uh, are based on ICT. Joel Chacha, K24 TV. Nairobi.